Today I'm doing some wiring on my Renogy uh, DC to DC uh, charger. Sometimes it's called a B to B, battery to battery. And this device is required because we need to charge our house batteries by bringing power from our starting battery or the alternator of the engine back to the back of the van here and using that energy to charge up our house batteries as we're driving down the road. This device here limits the current because normally an auto alternator would could put out 100 amps or 150 amps. That's a lot of amperage that would be coming back through a wire that might be 25 feet long. So we need to reduce that amperage down and this particular Renogy product only draws 50 amps out of the system to charge the house batteries. So the inlet wire, which is this one here, I've got it connected yet, which is a four gauge wire, is running from the front of the van in the battery compartment all the way back to the back of the van, and it's about 25 feet. So this wire is capable of handling 50 amps of current in a 25 foot length with a very small voltage drop. The other purpose of this Renogy B2B device is to take the solar power which would come off the roof from the solar panels and also be wired to this DC to DC and that energy then is directed by this device down to charge the house batteries. This is a pretty critical component in the build out of the electrical system for a uh, travel van. You could also buy two devices. One is called a MPPT charger, which is strictly for solar. So you'd hook your solar panels to an MPPT and that would send the energy to the battery. And you can also buy a separate battery to battery charger, which takes the energy off the alternator and starting battery and charges the battery. This particular Renogy device combines those two together. It combines the MPPT charger and the battery to battery charger into one device so that it reduces the footprint of devices in the, van, in the van. And because it's looking at both the solar and the starting battery currents, it can manage those currents more effectively. The installation procedures in installing this device requires fuses. And because you don't want to overdraw current due to a short or a failure of the device, you need to put a fuse in to prevent that from happening. So that'll protect the electronics in this device and also ensure that there won't be a fire hazard due to high currents through a four gauge wire.
Beautiful.